Local 4 has looked at the growing concern about the growing size and also the weight of trucks and SUVs, especially among electric vehicles. Now both the federal government and the gold standard of safety rating groups are taking notice. Our Grant Herm joins us as experts are sounding the alarm and asking automakers and the government to seriously weigh the risks. Grant. Kimberly, Karen, the concern here is that electric vehicles just weigh so much more than their gas powered counterparts, sometimes thousands of pounds more. And that has led to questions about whether EVs are safe to have on the road, not because you'd be unsafe if you're behind the wheel of one, but whether other cars and people on the roads will be safe when EVs take over. This year, the Insurance Institute of Highway Safety made a staggering announcement. They weren't sure if they could make sure electric vehicles were safe to drive the way they've tested other cars. The non-governmental agency was forced to test whether their famous crash machine could even handle the increase in the weight of EVs that are thousands of pounds heavier than the cars they normally test. We have a machine that has to essentially tow these vehicles down the track at a certain speed, and we've never uh, crashed anything that heavy. To test it, the IIHS had to load a 10-year-old F-150 with a block of concrete to mimic the weight of an EV close to 10,000 pounds, and then see if the crash machine could even tow it to 40 miles an hour in just 600 feet, something EVs would be more than capable of doing. The crash machine held up, but it's leading to more questions about what if the crash isn't with a steel wall, but with another car, a cyclist, or worse, someone crossing the street. It's just like uh, you know your high school physics class, when something big and heavy collides with something small and light, uh, the small and light object uh, loses. And then there's this, the chair of the National Transportation Safety Board appointed by President Biden, who has been an ardent supporter of electric vehicles, says she's deeply concerned about just how big and heavy EVs are in a keynote speech back in January. But I am concerned about the increased risk of severe injury and death for all road users from heavier curb weights and increasing size, power, and performance of vehicles on our roads, including electric vehicles. But we have to be careful that we aren't also creating unintended consequences, more death on our roads. So just how heavy are these cars? The Audi e-tron comes in at 5,800 pounds, nearly double a regular Honda Civic. The Ford F-150 Lightning, 6,000 pounds. The Rivian R1T, 7,000 pounds. And the GM Hummer EV has a gross vehicle weight of more than 10,000 pounds. The battery pack alone weighs as much as a Toyota Corolla. Neither the NTSB nor the IIHS think EVs are the wrong direction. In fact, both still say they remain the future and they're inspired by the advances. But there are questions that they want answered before EVs take over the roads. EVs have a lot of advantages and they actually have some uh, significant safety advantages over traditional vehicles. The weight of the batteries, for example, confers safety in crashes for the people riding in the EV. And obviously we have uh, potential for environmental benefits from EVs. The question is, when you start putting these extreme heavyweight EVs out on the road, is there a downside to that? Now, I also reached out to the automakers as well. GM sent me a statement that reads in part, customer and road user safety is a priority for GM, regardless of the type of propulsion or mass of a vehicle. Every product we sell complies with applicable federal safety standards, in addition to GM's strict safety requirements. With any new product, mass is an engineering criteria from day one, and tire, chassis, braking, and other systems are designed to perform well in both normal and emergency situations. On the other side, Stellantis told us to get a comment from the Alliance for Automotive In Innovation, an industry group that represents 36 automakers, including Ford. Their comment read, safety is a top priority of the auto industry. Vehicles continue to get even more safe as automakers across the board test, develop, and integrate new safety technologies that can help save lives and prevent injuries. We also reached out to Ford directly for a comment, but they did not get back to us. In Detroit. Grant Herms, Local 4. Had no idea EVs were so much heavier than their gasoline counterparts. Grant, we appreciate uh, the interesting information. Thanks.